This is Ioannis Ilias from the Elena Venizlou Hospital in Athens, Greece. We recently published the article titled Potassium Iodide and Nuclear Accidents, Give It Timely, Swiftly, and Judiciously. In more than 50 years, there have been only two Level 7 nuclear accidents, in Chernobyl in 1986 and in Fukushima in 2011. In both accidents, among other radionuclides, radioactive iodine isotopes were released in the environment, with iodine-131 being the most important, due to its tissue-damaging beta radiation emission. The thyroid, being an iodine avid organ, is particularly vulnerable, in case of a nuclear accident. This vulnerability is age delimited, the most susceptible persons are the younger ones, up to age 40. The incidence of differentiated thyroid cancer may increase with radiation thyroid doses as low as 0.1 gray. The small-sized thyroid in children concentrates iodine avidly and more than in adults, resulting in higher radiation doses to this gland in children compared to adults. To avert the appearance of thyroid cancer, authorities and experts opt for the prophylactic administration of potassium iodide, especially for younger persons at a risk. One age and body weight adjusted dose of potassium iodide blocks substantially further uptake of iodine for two days, after two days, this effect diminishes. The use of potassium iodide should be swift yet cautious. To have any tangible protective effect, it has to be given in advance or within 2-8 to eight hours of exposure to radioiodine contaminants, moreover, it is not effective vis-a-vis -vis other radioactive contaminants. There is a non-negligible part of the population that receives levothyroxine or other medications, which interfere with iodine uptake by the thyroid. Thus, there is a caveat if potassium iodide needs to be given to a population in case of a nuclear accident. Authorities should focus on administering it first to neonates, infants, children, adolescents, adults aged 40 and less and pregnant or breastfeeding women, for they would benefit the most from it. In older persons, particularly those treated with levothyroxine, amiodarone or antithyroid medications, the use of potassium iodide may not be beneficial.